For more than 50 years, the FARC have been fighting the Colombian government. They're the strongest left-wing rebel group in Latin America. Now, for the first time in 10 years, they're willing to talk peace. The peace process officially started in Oslo last month. But the real debate over how to end the conflict will begin in Havana. The FARC say they want peace with social justice and the guarantee that some type of land reform will be carried out. We are not asking in this negotiation that we carry out a revolution. We are asking that the final agreement includes the needs of the Colombian people, like work, bread, education. We believe that land distribution is a key issue in our country. Land reform is a thorny subject in Colombia, where nearly four million people have been displaced by civil war. Colombia's economy has boomed in the last years, and foreign investment runs high, especially in the oil and mining sectors. The government wants to assure those investing in Colombia that any land redistribution won't affect their interests. For now, both sides say they have no plans to lay down their weapons. A series of conditions. One of them is there's no concessions in the military terrain until we reached we reach an agreement to finalize definitely the conflict. Um, until then, there's no concessions. The other issues that will be addressed are security, drug trafficking, and how to compensate victims of the conflict. The government has chosen former Vice President Humberto de la Calle as its chief negotiator. The leader of the FARC's negotiating team is the organization's second in command, Ivan Márquez. This is a difficult process because traditionally elites in Colombia never open up to social reform. At the same time, the FARC is not an organization that is inclined towards politics, but towards ideology and armed struggle. On many points, the FARC and the government positions seem irreconcilable and neither are saying what they might be willing to sacrifice. But both sides insist they are committed to peace. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Havana.